Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video review, and this is a comparison for youtube.com slash droiddog and droiddog.com between two of the greatest mobile shopping applications for Android as you can see here. Today we'll be comparing Google Goggles, which comes preloaded on Android 2.2 Froyo, and Google Shop, which is available in the Android market, both applications for free. First we're going to be taking a look at Google Shopper. The first and most major thing you're going to notice is that it is a very simple, clean interface and is more uh, geared towards the beginner Android users. You have image search, voice search, and actually typing your search. First we'll try an image search, which is common to both the applications, where you can actually take a picture of a couple of major household items, things like book covers, CD covers, or video game titles, and you'll be able to actually register the name of it. So here I have a copy of Windows 7 Home Premium here, and if I light at the appropriate angle, it'll recognize it and get a product. Now this isn't the actual, this isn't a perfect representation of what it does. Typically it's accurate, but you can say it's picked up the word Microsoft on the cover. Down at the bottom, since this is a shopping application, you can view other places you can purchase this online and their prices. You can also hit the local tab and view places you can purchase it in stores nearby. And if there are reviews of it, you can also view reviews and details of the product that it has in Google's references. So you can view all this information once you've tagged a product. And in order to see a better representation of this, I'll go ahead and use the voice search version of Google Shopper. And you can see, I'll, I'll go ahead and say Windows 7, and it's going to be quite accurate and pick up exactly what I say. So here we go. You can see that it actually prompts you by telling you to speak the name of the product you're looking for. And of course, Google voice recognition is very, very accurate. So you can see it's searching for Windows 7. And what do we get? All the copies of Windows 7. Windows 7 Home Premium happens to be the first one. So of course, there are reviews of it. Tons of reviews, actually. 612 of them. So that's been a quick look at the simpler user interface of the more user-friendly version of Google's Goggles. And that's exactly what we have next. Google Goggles is a piece of software Google happens to actually preload on a lot of higher-end Android devices. You can see the nice little logo there. Android 2.2 Froyo comes with Google Goggles, and the first thing you're going to get when you open it up is the camera itself. So it's going to go straight to opening the lens of the camera so you can go ahead and scan anything. It's also a little bit difficult to see here, but there's also a couple of things on screen, including a grid. And on the top right hand corner, there's a crop function and we can control whether or not the camera's flash turns on or off. You can also do a couple of other settings here. We have the same copy of Windows 7 Home Premium and you actually have to tap the shutter button to get a good picture instead of having it automatically recognize it and stop scanning when it finds something. Next thing it's going to do is analyze the picture that you took when you press the shutter button. So after all of this little bit of high-tech matrix theme scanning, it's going to use its software's recognition to actually pick up words on the screen, and you can tap on it when you're done to Google search those words with a little built-in browser. So it'll search Windows 7 Home Premium, and you get all the same options you typically would. Also at the bottom, it's identified the fact that it is an operating system, and therefore it'll give you a unique sort of view in product search, and you have the same options you would if you'd actually gone to your browser and Google searched Windows 7 under the product search. Goggles also has a couple of other unique features like GPS and accelerometer integration where you can actually hold up the camera in a landscape orientation and you can either uh, turn to the left and right and view what's around you where you can buy this particular item by pointing your camera in that general direction and there's also a couple other features like I showed you sharing the photo you just took or bringing up the option to take a new photo and scan a new item. Overall, Google Goggles, yes, is a very much more high-tech and slightly less user-friendly version of Google Shopper, but it happens to be my slight preference, and I'll go over this in a second why I prefer it just a little bit over Google Shopper. To put many words into few, if you're a beginning Android user and you don't really shop on your phone that often and you're looking for a starting alternative, I'd say definitely go for Google Shopper for the ease of use, the nice user interface, and the, it's light on features so it won't be that obtrusive. If you're a Google Android Power user and you really use shopping on your phone often, if you're a really high-end mobile consumer, you definitely want to get to stick with Google Goggles on your phone. Until then, this has been MKBHD, signing out. Peace.